What are the best professional cameras of 2023? It's a huge question, but today we have some answers and review the top honorable mentions. We prepared this list according to their price, performance, and more. Stay tuned until the end for the latest pricing and information. Powerful Hybrid, Nikon Z9. This is a 45.7 megapixel full frame pro sports mirrorless camera, a high end 8K shooting statement of intent from one of the industry's biggest players. Nikon comes with third brands to build a pro grade mirrorless camera around the fast readout stacked CMOS sensor and seems determined to show that it has no intention of being and also ran as the market moves to mirrorless. This has been trained to recognize similar ranges of subjects to that of the Canon EOS R3 with human, animals, and vehicles all capable of being prioritized by the camera. Previously, the cameras would pass responsibly for pitch and yaw motions off the lens, but this is able to use both systems in a synchronized fashion. The Z9 has an angular design that's consistent with the other Z camera, but has some detail that will be familiar to users of companies' DSLRs. This has resistance to the urges to fit a fully articulating screen and has options instead of for something that will be better fit for some photographer. The shape and layouts of the cameras will be immediately familiar to the D6 user as will the menu systems, but what's most impressive is how much the Z9 feels like the DSLR. The autofocus system operates and looks very much like the D6's. Image quality is excellent with the tiny dents of dynamic ranges compared with the D850 or Sony A1, not making any appreciable real-world difference. The new raw compression options have a few downsides, which are hugely valuable when capturing 20-45 megapixel images every second. Best for stills, Canon EOS R5. This is another good brand worth considering when you are thinking about buying a camera. I have always liked Canon. The brand offers both experienced and newbie photographers a great choice of cameras. It is certainly worth your while to explore the range of cameras that Canon has to offer. It is important to appreciate that Canon cameras are costly. They do have a bunch of technical features. If you have the time and patience to explore them, you will find them useful. Most product photographers rely on autofocus. The autofocus quality of the Canon R5 is second to none. It offers high resolution both when it comes to still and video photography. It is an excellent camera to work with both inside and outside studio lights and outside. Canon cameras have always had a problem with overheating. Having fans is a great idea, but the camera still gets hot. If you already own a Canon camera, you will probably know it has a habit of shutting down. The stills mode speed is impressive. I think it's a good camera for shooting many frames. It is one of the best cameras out there for a product photographer to take a lot of stills. As far as the video goes, the camera leaves a little bit to be desired. Video Monster, Sony A7S III. This is identical to the A7R4, which is good because this is Sony's best handling camera yet. At 699 grams, it's light and considering all the text packed inside. The main and quick menu can be fully operated using the three inch touchscreen. The touch displays was only useful for setting touch focus with all the Sony's previous cameras. Now you can adjust things without any button, which is particularly useful when filming with a display toward yourself. You can shoot 4K at up to 120 frames per second, more than any other hybrid mirrorless camera except for Canon's EOS R5, giving you some crazy creative options. If you shoot 1080p, this delivers the best HD quality of any Sony mirrorless camera because it can super sample the entire sensor. It also supports 240 frames per second for super slow motion effects. Its limitations are the high 3500 price tag and low resolution sensor, which rules out the A7S III for landscape and other types of high detailed photography. Get Sony similar priced A7R 4 with a category leading 61 megapixel if you need that. If budget is an issue and you need an all around hybrid camera, check the Canon R6, Panasonic S5, or Sony's own A7 III at between $2,000 and $2,500. However, if you're into video or low light photography and have the budget, it's highly recommended for this. Feature for feature, it's simply the best camera I've tested. Best versatile. Sony A1. Sony has leaders in mirrorless professional cameras for years, and this is a culmination of the brand's imaging technology prowess. This has high performance workhorse packed with features. It makes shooting in any situation a breeze. It's easy to capture anything from creative portrait or people to pet or animals in the wild as well. This has a 50 megapixel sensor and has an ISO range between 50 to 104,000. This device's even feature pixel shift multi shootings. It lets you combine 16 RAW files to create one super high resolution image. You can shoot continuously at up to 30 frames per second. That's pretty impressive. It's a high resolution sensor that has to process large files quickly. That's why sport and wildlife photographers adore it. They can finally take pictures fast, and they can crop their shot and post without worrying about losing image qualities. The max video resolution is 8K at 30 pixels without crops and 120 pixels in 4K. Sony has one of the fastest autofocus systems. 
It can make around 120 autofocus and auto exposure calculations per second. It ensures you don't miss crucial moments. Those who use autofocus for videos will be rather happy. You can track your subject's eyes in real time and change the focus seamlessly. More than $1,000 more expensive than the Nikon Z9, its closest competitor. But the 50 megapixel resolution, high dynamic range, and accurate autofocus system make it all worth it. Best medium format for portraits. Hasselblad X1D 250C. This brand was the first to release a mirrorless, medium format camera in 2016. In 2020, they have updated their medium format lines. They released this, and has a feature fitted for a new generation of professional photographers, and has a sleek, well-built body, making it perfect for studio and street photography. Despite the large sensors it carries, it weighs only 650 grams. It may be this brand, but it's surprisingly affordable for a professional camera of its caliber. It's slightly more expensive than the 35mm flagship camera, but it's still within reaches for more people as well. Most medium format cameras appear awkward and also bulky, but you can tell right away that this was well designed. It has a smooth ergonomic body with the bottom on the right place. It even features a pop-up dial that you can conventionally push down when not in use. Being a medium format camera, it feels slightly clunky compared to the full frame 35mm option. Its continuous shooting rates alone is quite dismal at 2.5 frames per second. Meanwhile, its max video resolution is only 2.5K, but this was never for run and gun shutter bugs. It's for commercial and fine art photographers only and for those who take time to take a single photograph. Like its meticulous design, it requires a user who is detail-oriented with their images. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.